Hey guys, so a quick disclaimer, sort of side note. Um, originally what I was going to do for a video is because everyone's locked in their houses at the moment, I thought it'd be a brilliant idea to do a poly gel um, video for beginners. Now, I'm still going to do that today, of course. Um, but um, originally I was going to use the McCart, um, like just standard poly gel kit with the pinks and the whites and and the clear and stuff like that. I was originally going to use that kit, um, but I ordered it on the 14th of March and it was meant to get here by the 11th of April and it is now the 19th. Um, then I had uh, Amazon update my order and say that it was going to be here by the 15th. It still wasn't here. Um, basically, because of everything that's going on in the world right now with the virus and stuff, um, obviously essentials are being sent out first, which is completely understandable, and I, I'm not mad about that, that's, you know, I, I agree. Um, but basically, my parcel got lost in the mail. <laughs> so, um, I contacted my car uh, through the process of it being late, and then it being really late, and then it not coming at all. Um, who, and my car were brilliant, by the way. I, I cannot express enough how brilliant they were they were emailing me on what to do and telling me you know it, it, this and that and then when it was like really late they they're now going to send out a new parcel um because my other one is god knows where uh so basically because i wanted to do this video now um i'm going to use one of my old poly gel kits um and then i'll do a video with the macart poly gel kit when it comes the only reason that I'm not going to wait is because it's going to be like another two weeks maybe a little bit more because of the virus and everything that's going on and you know um so yeah uh just that's what I just quickly wanted to say and put out there so that you understand that I'm not just like being boring with the same old kit even though you know you can get the most out of the kits like do that because it saves money um but I wanted to review McCart because McCart couldn't actually come to the UK, couldn't deliver and ship to the UK, and now now they do uh, through Amazon, which is amazing. Uh, <laughs> so we're just waiting for SXC to do that, and I'll be even happier. Uh, but yeah, so this is why, guys, um, why I'm using this kit that I've already used uh, before on the channel. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say before we got into the video. Hey guys and welcome back, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we are doing um, a poly gel beginner friendly sort of kind of tutorial. <laughs> um, so I've already put the disclaimer sort of side note in the beginning so you understand why I'm reusing this kit today. Um, so this kit comes with your basic needs, it comes with um, your instructions that you've just seen then, a top coat, a base coat, four different poly gels in total. Um, a brush, spa um, spear thing, which is your, your spatula brush, um, a file, a 100 to 180 grit, but I've lost it. <laughs> and then it also come with three different glitters. The only reason I didn't show it all is because I actually have another, I have a video on this particular kit, um, that I've done ages ago. So anyway, um, <clears throat> Oh, and you also get slip solution. So what you need with a poly gel kit um, is basically what I just mentioned, but you also need to make sure that the kit that you are buying, if it doesn't have slip solution, you need to buy it. So you can either buy like 70% um, plus rubbing alcohol, or hopefully your kit does come with a slip solution. Now, I've just buffed my natural nail. Um, I'd already pushed back my cuticles. So basically I buffed my natural nail to take away the shine and then I um, I applied dehydrator and primer from Model 1s. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this step, but I would say it's necessary to do this step. The dehydrator takes away all the oils and all the dirt from your nails and dehydrates and then the primer helps to adhere and make the product stick along with then the base coat that also makes the poly gel stick to your nail um so you know they are important steps you can skip them but your nails won't last as long um so yeah i would invest in getting some decent primer and dehydrator i like the model ones they're not too bad so here we go now <laughs> these tips <laughs> can go up with the sun don't shine what stupid tips these are so i size them out <laughs> 
Uh, I'll, you'll see soon what I'm on about. So I'll size them out. Um, these ones are a little bit weird. Well, no. All jewel forms are a little oddly shaped because they're universal. But apparently, like, all nails are the same. They're not. Um, like, some nail forms, I've, I've noticed a lot of... Sorry, not nail forms. Nail Jewel forms, I've noticed, are very square. I don't know many people with Spongebob square pants sort of square nails, you know? So, mm, but <clears throat> you can file them and shape them down. Uh, so it's not too bad, I guess. Um, but it's just a pain, really. So I here I have now, I've just um, sized them out and I'm going to go in with the base coat. I cure this for 60 seconds. It had a sticky layer, so I wiped the sticky layer off. Um, yeah, so just going in with the base coat now. So... This poly gel kit I've used before. I've used the clear plenty of times because clear it's sticky, but it's just all right. Um, <clears throat> I had problems with this kit tonight. I've never used the pink. I don't think I have. No, I used the translucent, the translucent, the translucent pink, the clear, and I've used the white. Um, I've never used the like. Is it what's it called? Um, hang on, I'll tell you what it's called now because it's right next to me. This doesn't even have a name. It's just a oh natural pink. Sorry, it's like in cursive across the side. It's a natural pink. It's not natural. It's a Barbie pink. So I don't know why they're calling it natural pink. Oh, here we go. You can see it now. It was really hard to get out the bottle. I've not used this, and look how like hard it was to get out the bottle. This is a thirty gram bottle. There is not thirty grams in this. I'm telling you now. Um, but meh. So anyway, I took out my slip solution that I had from my wish kit because it's <laughs> alcohol is sparing right now and I don't know if anyone can find any, I'll be honest. Uh, so uh, I used it from the wish kit, but it's um, it's uh, it doesn't even have instructions on the bottle, so I can't even tell you what percentage it is. But yeah, it's slip solution. Slip solution is basically rubbing alcohol. Um you, if you don't have slip solution, by the way, just to give you a heads up, you can use the base coat. Um, put the poly gel into the dual form, and then just brush on a little bit of base coat, and then work it through, and it doesn't actually stick too much. Um, but you know, so anyway, you can use your spear end, your spatula, I guess, is what it's actually called. But I call it a spear because it looks like a javelin spear, sort of medieval. Pocahontas sort of tool. So anyway, you can use your, <laughs> you can use the spatula, um, and take it off from the bottle and then stick it onto the jewel form. But I generally do find the toothpaste me method a lot easier, because you just squeeze it right into the jewel form and then you just work it through. This product is quite sticky, but like it's not like you know, I'm used to it. I guess I got used to it pretty quickly because I've used a lot of different poly gels now. So. Yeah, this is the worst kit I've used, by the way. <laughs> just a heads up. So, um, yeah, just work it through the jewel form. Um, and then make sure the cuticle and the sidewalls are, st are quite thin. Um, and apply it to your natural nail at a 45 degree angle and then apply pressure. Now, what you want to do is flip your hand over and flatten at the back because it will touch your skin. And no one wants that on your skin. You you know, allergies and it could burn in the light and so on and so forth. So, you know, try not to get this stuff on your skin. Um, and then what you want to do is flip your hand back over and clean around the cuticle and the sidewalls because some of it might have seeped out. And then you cure for 60 seconds. Now, um, with jewel forms, leave them on so that um, it can cool down. Don't take them off when they're hot and fresh out the lamp because, um, yeah, they're just it's not a good idea, basically. Uh, they come off a lot easier when they're cold. So here we are again now, and we're going in with the ring finger. Uh, same, uh, same thing again. Pat it into place. Um, don't much slip solution because you can flood it, and then it goes all mank and disgusting and gross, and it's harder to work because, like, yeah, it's basically putting something in water, toilet roll, and trying to use it. No, that's that's a bad example. Ignore me. That's a stupid example. Anyway, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, as you can see now, I'm patting it very... Now, I didn't do these thick. They're not thick, guys. This poly gel looks thick. It's not thick. Uh, I applied just the right amount, um, and, like I said, made sure it was thin on the 
cuticle and around the edges so that it doesn't seep out too much. Like you'll notice that it doesn't actually seep out all that much and I don't have to do too much cleaning at the back. Um, but now this poly gel, it doesn't cure fully. I gotta be honest. I don't know if it's the pigmentation. I, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> sorry, I was just cleaning up a bit of my nail in. Um, I don't know if it's the pigmentation, but I didn't do them thick, so I really don't know why they are things. So here you go. Now you can see me trying to take the nail form off of my little finger. It will not come off. These nail files in this kit are poo. <laughs> Basically, they're crap. I'm sorry, but they are. Um, so I'm struggling. I'm trying, and then I think I'm like looking. It starts to like lift, and I was like, mm, okay, I'll I'll cure it a bit longer with the other nails, I'll leave it on for a bit longer. So I go in for my third nail now, my middle finger. So three nails I've done so far. This didn't take too long. I think it took me 20 minutes to get to this point, right? Yeah, okay. And that's with curing, because obviously I don't record whilst I'm curing. So I flatten the poly gel out again, and we're pushing it around and doing the normal thing. I put it onto my nail. I cure it for 60 seconds, like I have done. Bearing in mind now, the other two nails have been in for three sec three minutes for the little finger because it's been in the lamp three times two minutes for the ring finger and one minute for the middle finger these bloody jewel forms will not come off and they take the nail off you'll see in a second i literally show you in a second i pull them all off literally and i'm not even applying that much pressure but the nails just come off with the jewel forms I couldn't get the nail out of the jewel form and when it come off my actual nail it still wasn't cured like on the base of my nail this is why I wanted to use the McCart kit because I, I've heard nothing but good things from the McCart kit uh there is a bubble there ignore that bubble because it's coming off now in a second anyway so I've used poly gel enough to know that to know what to do you know like I'm not amazingly I'm not amazing at the application and I still need a lot of work and I'm not saying that I'm a pro because I'm definitely not but I know how poly gel works and I know how to app I know the application for it and <laughs> no this <laughs> these jewel forms and this poly gel the pink one not good here we go see look just tried to pull the form off and it just come off and luck now I show you on camera how easy it is like I'm trying to pull the form off it's not working and then it popped it just popped off bear in mind now these have been in for three minutes two minutes and a minute and look how easy that one pulled off that one didn't even cure at all like it was still on my finger gross um so I was like mm -hmm, yeah throw them away literally and now I'm going in with the straight forms of from model ones <laughs> take number two now these forms worked <laughs> yay um so i spent all that time doing that with the other forms and they were crap guys mm. this kit is called <clears throat> lucky fine poly gel the poly nail gel kit for you for your nails for your nail art Sorry, everything is cursive. I, I haven't read cursive since, like, school. And I'm 28. And, I, yeah. Like, we didn't even do cursive in secondary school. Like, we done cursive in primary school, and then that was it. So, <clears throat> I haven't done cursive since I was 11. So, 17 years? Am I doing the math right? Yeah, 17 years. Anyway, so, this kit... <clears throat> You can see, guys. I, I don't have to explain. <laughs> so don't get this kit. <laughs> I would recommend Gershon, Model 1s, um, McCart, boy. Uh, so, what was that? Uh, Savvy Land, and I would also recommend... Um, I would recommend... It's Top Direct, but I would not recommend their colour changing. Ugh. It doesn't colour change, it's lies. It Well, no, it's not complete lies. It colour changes once and never turns back. <laughs> so anyway, here we go now. So I'm reapplying, back to the video, reapplying the <clears throat> poly gel again into the new and better forms. Um, pretty simple. I do the same for every nail um, and then stick it on. Same application, 
Make sure it's thin on the cuticles and around the sides. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, I lost my train of thought. 45 degree angle onto your nail and then um, f make sure to flip your hand, sort the underneath out and then flip your hand again and sort around the cuticle and for anything that may have just decided to flop out. So um, anyway, we are going to... I'm going to speed this up now, guys, because um, you don't need to see me up apply for, like, the constant same method. So, yeah, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Um, you just seen me take off the jewel forms with ease. Well, I was a bit scared <laughs> in case they popped off again for the second time and then I'd be like, what was the point? Throw this poly gel away. <clears throat> but luckily, no, like I said, it was the jewel forms. It, well, it was the poly gel itself as well, but mm, um, the jewel forms definitely played a big part. Uh, so you just seen me take off the jewel forms and then wipe away the sticky tacky layer from uh, the underneath and the tops. Make sure you do this because a sticky tacky layer is really hard to file. And again, allergies. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like a broken record. So anyway, now what I'm doing is I'm going in with my own nail file. So like I said, I couldn't remember where that other nail file was. <laughs> oh gosh, this is such a fail video. Literally, this should be a, a full 21 minute and 44 second meme. So anyway, um, <clears throat> oh sorry, clear my throat. <clears throat> so now I'm just going in with my nail file um, and my dust collector. Make sure, like, you know, if you... You don't have to have a dust collector, guys, because you're not going to be doing your nails all the time. I mean, if you buy this kit, you will be, because it'll keep falling off. But <laughs> um, just put down a, a paper towel or kitchen roll, you know, something to catch the dust. Um, and don't breathe it in, because, again, toxic. Well, not again, because I haven't said that yet. So there's a new one. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going around now and filing and shaping and buffing... Not buffing yet, sorry. I'm filing and shaping the nails. Wow, I'm so bad tonight. What is wrong with me? I cannot get my words and thoughts properly. Now I'm buffing. Um, and I also went around the cuticles with my hand file and sorted the cuticles out a little bit because poly gel is a pain with jewel forms. But jewel forms are a great first, like, first timer, so like a beginner, you know? They're good for beginners, so I can't complain there. So um, we buff um, the natural 
Well, natural, it's not natural or anything about them. Um, you just buff away the shine, guys, so then when you put the top coat on, it'll stick for longer. This top coat, I swear, it's, it air dries. I, I swear, I'm not making this up. This base coat was air drying. It was really, really weird. Um, but I still put it in the lamping case. And I even went over it with Model 1's top coat because I don't trust this top coat. <laughs> I don't trust this kit whatsoever. And this top gel smells of, like, gel, like chemical gel. It's not a nice smell. Um, mind you, the slip solution that come with this kit was not nice neither. Anyway, so I'm just uh, doing all of this. And then I st stick my hand into the light for 60 seconds. Um, even though I don't think I had to. I think it was an ear-drying one, which is really weird. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you cover your whole nail with the top coat, guys. And um, by the way, always go by the instructions in the uh, like the application processes because some gels and poly gels might cure a different way to others. Just so you know, it's it's just... The way it is, I guess. Uh, you've just seen me then tapping it and it was drying, like air drying. It was really weird. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're coming up close to the end now, guys. Also, don't forget to um, put some cuticle oil on to your um, cuticles when you're finished. Uh, just to keep them healthy and happy. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. <laughs> and I will see you all, all in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.